Today we'll be talking about peer-to-peer -peer support services for mental and substance use disorders. One of the major things that peer support does is it gets the individual who is being supported the opportunity to um, get shared life experiences from a person who has has sustained recovery or has had long-term recovery. So that's where the peer recovery advocate or the peer recovery coach comes in to be able to effectively share their experiences with them to say like, look, I've experienced what you're experiencing, the same anxieties, the same fears that you have, I've had. This is how I was able to transition from point A to point B. When we talk about recovery-oriented systems of care, you can't do it without people in recovery. You can't do it without the organized recovery community because where does recovery live? It lives where we live. It lives, it li lives in our hearts, it lives on our streets, it lives in our communities, and we bring that valuable experience to that whole ROSC recovery-oriented systems of care equation. So many people, when they come into systems, just come away with these really kind of hopeless messages, like this is going to be the way it is for you for the rest of your life. Just accept that you can't really dream big or achieve much, you know, and, and our peer recovery movement is just kind of completely blowing that out of the water and says, no, there's a life in the community.